Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Shattered Glass Megatron. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, both on foil backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Shattered Glass Megatron, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Shattered Glass Megatron looks pretty good, but I think he is a little plain. One of the things I really like about him is the black helmet. I'm an old school Marvel G1 fan, and he always had a collared helmet opposed to one that just blend in to the rest of his body. He does have a red Decepticon logo there on the chest, some yellow details on the chest as well, black right there for his control panel, which has some nice sculpted details, but that's it. Moving on down, he's got some black paint applications here and some red right above the foot where he has some silver. Uh, let's see, he's got a blue tip for his fusion cannon, blue barrel right there inside his sword. For his shield, we got a red square here with a white outline Decepticon logo, translucent windows because that's going to be part of the spaceship mode, and he has these translucent pieces on his back with some red paint applications on the wings. And really, that's about it. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Shattered Glass Megatron in robot mode before and after. And oh my god, what a difference Toy Hacks has made on Shattered Glass Megatron here. He looks like a completely different figure. Now, the first decal you're probably noticing is the new decal there on his chest, that winged Decepticon logo. That just looks amazing. That there is what sold me on the whole set. It just makes Megatron look so much more heroic. He also has new decals right there in the vents, black decals with little yellow circles. Up here on the head, he gets new chrome decals right there above the eyes and blue decals on the side of the helmet. His shoulders get new chrome decals on either side. New decals there for the biceps. On the fusion cannon, he gets a kind of a holographic decal right there and more decals here on the other side. The sword looks awesome with these new blue chrome decals that really make that look so much better than that solid black that he had. Back to the figure, he gets blue decals right there for his control panel, little yellow decals right there for the waist, new black decal for the crotch, the legs, he gets new decals here on the inside, and little triangles right there on the feet, blue decals there on top of the foot, and like armor plating around the soles. Moving on here to the shield, Lots of nice new decals that I'm going to go over more in spaceship mode. So there you go, guys. Megatron in robot mode after. In tank mode, straight out of the packaging, Megatron still retains the same color scheme he had in robot mode. Lots of black, white, and blue. I do like the blue barrel for the tank right there that fades into the black. That once again fades into the blue right there on top of the turret. He does have red rectangles there on top, some red right there, and of course you have black here, here, and on the sides. The front of the tank has a lot of sculpted details, but no paint applications whatsoever until you get to the rear of the tank where you have some black and red and silver there on the feet. 
and my heel will not stay in. It just blows my mind that Hasbro could not figure out a way to hide these feet in tank mode. So there you go, guys. One final look at Shattered Glass Megatron in tank mode before and after. Megatron's tank mode gets a lot of new details thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the tank, he's got new armored plates right there on the side, which looks really good. It helps break up all of that black. Also, armor plating here up top and blue decals right there on the front of the treads. The front of the tank also has that Decepticon winged logo right there, along with some yellow lights and a hatch cover. The top of the tank, the fusion cannon section, has these new decals that kind of make it look like an energy readout. There's also a decal right there, chrome decal here, decals right there, and a yellow decal right there on the top. This side, new red decals here near the front, and armor plating right there. As we go along the side of the tank, there are yellow decals right there. Back of the tank has blue decals here, the armor plating around the foot section, and that is pretty much it. I love how this looks now. It is much better than what it was before. So there you go, guys. Megatron in tank mode after. In spaceship mode, straight out of the packaging, which I still can't figure out if it's extremely lazy or ingenious on Hasbro's part how they did this, Megatron actually looks really, really good and very colorful now. The extra pieces and parts are showcased in this mode, and it's surprising how good this works. I mean, it's, it's something else. Here on the front of the spaceship, we've got the shield once again, which is now the cockpit. You've got a black nose cone right there with translucent blue windows, red square right there with the white outline Decepticon insignia. The top of the spaceship is the turret of the tank where you see the blue fusion cannon barrel, the black and red highlights. You've got the wings now on the sides, the translucent blue with the red sections right there on either side of the wing. Back of the vehicle, now the front of the tank, lots of sculpted details, and that's about it. So there you go, guys. Shattered Glass Megatron in spaceship mode before and after. Now in ship mode, most of Megatron's new decals go on his accessories. Everything else you've already seen in robot mode and tank mode, but the new decals for the ship is right here on the cockpit shield section. He gets a new red Decepticon insignia right there and new window decals that go all the way around. Now be aware that the window decals have a blue section or a darker blue section on the bottom. So when you're applying these smaller windows, make sure you get that blue section lined up. There's also blue decal right there and yellow decals there and new blue decals right there on the nose cone. Now moving on to the wings. I think I got these mixed up because as you can see there's chrome shining through the wing right there and that's because I put the decals on the underside of the wing where it was very hollow and waffly. I really wasn't sure if that's what I was supposed to do but I actually like the looks of that. I dig the chrome accent that really catches the light with the wings. They don't look near as transparent now. And when you have the wings, say, flipped around, they don't look as bad with all of that detail there on the inside. Now, there are a lot of decals. You got three little decals right here, decal there, and there. So I may have mixed that up, but still, I think it looks really, really good. So I guess it's your choice. You can do whatever you'd like. And as I said, everything else, all the other decals, you've already seen in the other modes. So there you go, guys. Megatron in his spaceship mode after. Toy Hacks did an amazing job with Shattered Glass Megatron. Before Toy Hacks, he was okay. He definitely wasn't one of my favorite versions of Megatron. 
but now he pops and is going to look so good on my shelf with the other Shattered Glass figures. So if you have a Shattered Glass Megatron in your collection, I highly recommend this set. I absolutely love it. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!